Hello, it is Sunday Vibes with Brittany Chavers. Today I am here and um, I'm going to be showing you these Jesse James Beads Mixes, the new color alloys. Um, I will be using Aster Haze and Grasshopper today. I don't have the packaging for those. But um, I just wanted to show you there are some new mixes. These two are Loch Ness Treasure and Radiant Rhodonite. Um, and then there were also um, Adobe Sunrise and Into the Woods. They come with a bunch of really pretty glass and metal beads, but also beads featuring um, Dakota Stone's uh, gemstone beads. So um, there are six mixes, the four here, and then the two that I'm going to be using today, like I said, which are Grasshopper and Aster Haze, and I don't have the packaging for those. Hi, everybody who's joining. Um, today, we're going to be making, we're kind of going back to basics today. We're going to be making three pairs of earrings and a, um, a bracelet. Now, the earrings are going to be um, wire wrapping, like basic wire wrapping techniques. However, I'm going to do a little twist on um, it's going to kind of go in order. So basic and then a little bit um, more flavor and then one that's a little bit different too. So the first one, we're going to use some beads from the Aster Hayes uh, mix from Jesse James Beads featuring uh, the Dakota Stones uh, beads. And we're going to be using some uh, African Turquoise Jasper. Hey, Katie. Um, and we're going to be using this glass bead. It's a check glass with a check, uh, it's jet Picasso finish. And um, two bead caps, a spacer bead, and then an, another um, bead here, another check bead. So here is our um, African turquoise jasper, one of my favorite beads ever. I also have some 20 gauge um, German style wire. Hey, Lila. I'm sorry, I'm just seeing everybody joining here, making sure I'm catching your um, comments. And um, happy Halloween to everybody. I wanted to do it a little early today since I knew a lot of people would have some plans tonight. So um, like I said, we're going to do back to basics, a little bit of wire wrapping today, three different styles of um, earrings and a, a cute little memory wire bracelet. Hi, Lauren. And um, so this is the first one we're starting with. I'm just going to slip my um, check bead on and I'm just gonna move that down a little bit. And we only need a little bit of the tail. I have way too much wire here, but that's something I typically do because <laughs> I can't measure very well. Um, and I am going to put, I'm gonna make kind of like a head pin. Uh, out of this bead. So I'm going to put the a little bit of a tail and I'm going to take the tail up the back of the bead and I'm just going to make one loop around. We don't need a whole a whole wire wrap at this point just to get that bead secured onto our wire. Okay and I'm going to snip that in the back. So if you ever run out of a head pin and you have some wire this is a great way to get it get it going. Um, and then I'm going to take a bead cap, then my African turquoise jap jasper, another bead cap, my check glass bead, and then my spacer. And I'm going to move those down to my um, check out glass bead. I'm so sorry, everybody. I've been suffering with my allergies for the last three days. So <clears throat> if I get a little froggy, I, I really apologize. So here is what our little tower of beads looks like. I love that African turquoise jasper with the check glass. It's just so, so pretty. I love this combo so much. It's my favorite mix out of the new um, color alloys. And um, then we're just going to wire wrap. And like I said, I have way too much wire here, but this is our, our most basic pair that we're gonna be making today. So what I do when I wire wrap is I bend my wire back around one of my um, round, noise, round nose pliers. Then I reposition and bring it back around. Oh, it's caught on my other uh, pliers. And then I reposition again and bring it back. So now we have our little loop and I'm just gonna grab my loop within my um, jaws of my pliers. I'm gonna start wrapping. 
And you could do as much here as you want. I'm just going to do a few. Oops, started going down the bead. Actually, we're going to get a little messy today. We'll do we'll do a couple of these. And when I get to this point, I'm going to kind of turn my wire, my loop to the front because I want to hang on my hang it on my um, earring wire like that. So, and then I'm just going to keep going until I'm satisfied here. And you might probably cut less wire than that because I'm having difficulty manipulating it because there's so much wire going on. And I'm just going to tuck towards the back and snip. And if you need to, you can tuck that in, but I think I, I got it pretty well. So here is our first earring. It's a little, there we go. And if you man manipulate it, they won't be as wonky. Sometimes that softer wire it's a little crazy. And then I'll grab an ear wire. And if you want some added interest, you can put this on the front, but I, I kind of put that towards the back and just close my ear wire. Make sure everything's straight. And you have a five minute pair of earrings. That's just our first pair, kind of to warm us up. So we have two more and then another um, bracelet to go today, but I just love those and they look they look like they took a lot more time than five minutes, right? And they, the African turquoise jasper just goes so well with that um, Picasso finish. Love those. All right, so we have one pair. Next pair is going to be very similar and I'm sure many of you have seen me do this um, technique before, but I want to show you it in just a little bit, a way to get it a little bit more fancy than we're, no, we're normally used to. So I'm going to be using the Auster, uh, Aster Haze um, mix, which is a bunch of purples. And I am going to use two of these like sea urchin looking metal beads. I'm going to use this nice matte um, uh, amethyst, a glass bead, another check glass bead, and a bead cap. So I'm going to use some 24 gauge wire and I have, um, it's the Softlex uh, craft wire, but any 24 gauge wire will work. And I'm going to make a pretty long piece, probably like a foot and a half at least. And I know I've done this before, but we're going to do a little bit of a different take on it. So we're going to slide on one of our little sea urchin beads. Sorry, this one, I'll have to grab this one. And we're going to use it like a donut today. Good morning, Julie. <clears throat> so, um, We'll put our two little wires together at the top, slide our donut down to the middle. And I think I've done this. I did this recently in our um, Halloween jewelry uh, class with Softlex, but we're gonna do a little, like I said, a, just a little bit different take on this. So I'm gonna take my donut, or my little sea, ur sea urchin, whatever you wanna call it, and then we're gonna start twisting. And you don't need to twist if you don't want to, but it gives us a little bit of an extra oomph, I would say, on our finished product. And I'm doing this pretty quickly because we need a lot of twists. Your wrist might hurt after this. <laughs> but as you can see, it gets a little bit more twisty down towards the bottom. And as you move up, it gets a little bit looser. That's okay. That's something you want to expect. This is also a great technique to use if you have too thin a wire and you don't, you need like 20 gauge and you only have 24 or 26, it's great to twist your wire so you can get a thicker, more substantial wire. Or if you just want the twisted look. So I'm just gonna keep going because I need a lot for what we're gonna do. It's, I'm not just using it as a head pin today. We're um, gonna be wire wrapping with it. So um, for those of you just joining, I'm using the color alloy bead mixes today in Grasshopper and Aster Haze. It's a turquoise and a purple and we are back to basics with wire wrapping so we're kind of going in a more like we started really simply with this pair of earrings and we're gonna go um, do a couple techniques working up from there 
you have any questions. I'm trying to uh, see if you guys post anything in the chat. All right, so I'm just gonna keep going. Like I said, it's quite a bit of twisting, but I didn't wanna do it beforehand because I wanted you guys to be able to see what I was talking about. All right, just a few more. Okay. Now, I have a lot here that's still not twisted, but I don't know if we'll need it. And like I said, my wrist is getting pretty tired. <laughs> if you need a lot, you wanna do this over a few, a little while, you don't wanna do it all at once, just to give yourself um, a break. Okay, so I have my little sea urchin at the bottom. That's our little head pin right there. I'm gonna grab my two, I'm gonna just kinda of trim this so that they're even. I'm gonna grab my two ends and then I'm gonna slip on my amethyst. I love these, they're matte, that's so pretty. Slip that down all the way to the bottom. And then I am going to put on the second urchin bead, but I'm gonna put it on like we would a regular bead. Then my check glass bead. my bead cap and then finally my little tiny bead okay and we'll just slide all of those down and they do fit over the twists okay all right so we are and this would be a perfect earring just left like that and it's actually pretty funny and funky or fun and funky I should say but we're gonna wire wrap it oh and this I didn't get this guy all the way down we're going to wire wrap it today to be um, to showcase the spirals around the bead. So we're going to just wire wrap it like we did with our last earring. But instead of keeping the wire wrap around the top bead, we're going to come down our entire earring. So I'm going to go back and bring this around and bring it around to the back. So we have our wrap, and I'm just gonna wrap there once or twice, okay? Just once, actually we're just gonna do once, just like that, so we have enough wraps. And then I'm going to keep um, a hold on my loop by slipping um, my pliers through the loop instead of holding it like this, like I normally would, because I don't want my um, twist to come undone or, or be damaged. And then I am going to come down my earring. So actually, I think I'm gonna do one more, one more wrap around the earring here. Okay. And then we're gonna come down. Come down around that bead come down around our, might be easier for me to hold this since the wire is kind of loose. Um, find, I'm gonna find the front of the, the earring, okay. Come down around our check glass. And then we're gonna make sure that we're coming, we're showing our twist coming down around our, the front of our um, amethyst bead. Okay. And then we're just gonna wire wrap here a couple times. And then we're gonna go to the back. So we wanna make sure we have, actually I think that's one too many. Make sure we have enough twists that we can showcase the twisted wire on the front of our amethyst. And then I am just going to come in the back and snip off our excess. And then we're gonna make sure that our wire is twisted to the front at the top. There we go. So we have another wire wrapped earring that is very similar to our first one but just has a little bit more oomph with that twist and coming down our earring. So here are, is our pair. So we made two pairs of earrings in 15 minutes. 
They're fun. These are perfect for upcoming holidays, I would think. Very sparkly. So, okay, to recap, <laughs> here are our first two pairs of earrings. I love them. Um, the next pair of earrings we're going to do is going to use, um, yes, definitely Marisol. Thank you, Julie. Um, we're going to use this uh, really pretty large amethyst. I love this bead. I love it so much. And then we're going to take um, our 20 gauge wire. I had a lot left over, so I'm just going to use that same piece. Okay. We're going to do the same thing we did on our check glass, but we're not going to stop there. We're going to go ahead and feed that through. Come up and make a head pin just like we did. And we're just going to do, oh, I think I need a little bit more than that. Um, we're just going to do one wrap. Just like we did on the check glass bead. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to actually I can do two wraps here just to get it. Snipped off in the back. Okay, we normally I would have you tighten this because you can see that there's a little bit of a gap there, but we're gonna set this aside for one moment. So that was 20 gauge wire that I was working with. Now I'm gonna grab my 24 gauge wire and a couple of different colors of seed beads. You can use one or two colors. You can use as many colors as you want, actually. I'm using this turquoise color that came in the roller rink seed bead pack, and I'm using this purple color that came in the crushed velvet pack, okay? So I'm just gonna spill out a few seed beads from either color. And I see somebody wrote something. Cindy, oh, hey, Cindy, she wrote, uh, so pretty. Now she has to spend more and buy more GSC Jane's beads. Of course, she doesn't mind because she loves her beads. I think we're all in the same boat there. <laughs> Definitely. All right. So I'm spilling out some of the purple beads and some of the turquoise beads. And I don't mind if they get mixed up because that's what we want them to do. Okay. And um, yeah, Jessica, the new cal uh, color alloy mixes are really fabulous. I love them. Um, I'm going to feed on some of these seed beads onto my 24 gauge wire. And I'm just gonna do that. I'm not gonna pick up the beads with my fingers. I'm just gonna do it by grabbing them with my wire. And of course, doing it on screen is a little bit harder, <laughs> of course, than without a camera going. But I'm not actually even paying attention to what order I'm picking them up. There we go. And I want a, uh, quite a good amount to be on here. And you'll see why in a few minutes. And again, I'm not really like paying attention to purple or, or turquoise and just kind of grabbing whichever ones are in the way. Thank you, Zoe. That's so sweet. <laughs> what is everybody's plan for Halloween? Today's my last day of vacation, so I am just going to relax at home, maybe do a little bit of grocery shopping, but like I said earlier in the video, I'm sorry if you if I'm a little rough today. My, aller my allergies have been so bad for three days. It feels almost like I have a cold, but I know it's allergies because it's not consistent. Happy Halloween, Rose. Okay, so I think I'm going to just do a couple more here, just a couple more. But the fun part about this is you can choose whatever color combo you want. You don't need to go with purple and turquoise, but these are my the two the two uh mixes that I'm using today, so
Okay. So I have a couple inches worth of beads strung onto my 24 gauge wire and I'm just gonna leave this on the spool for now. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, come back, grab my ameth amethyst that I wire wrapped into um, a head pin really quickly. And then I'm gonna slip this 24 gauge wire underneath my uh, 20 gauge wire. That's why I didn't tighten this one like I normally would. Okay, I am going to then keep that right there and I'm gonna wrap around middle of this focal with my wire just a few times to anchor that bead or that uh, that wire on there and he's kind of traveling a little bit so I'm gonna move him right back down ooh somebody said there uh, Catherine said she's going to watch some scary movies tonight and Jessica is gonna take the kids trick-or-treating but you have a ton of fun already yesterday because it was her birthday oh that's sweet your your oldest daughter's birthday okay so I'm going to keep wrapping and then I this is where I'm going to kind of trim off our lead wire bring it down a little bit trim off our lead wire ooh Jen's going to a community bonfire that's wonderful so I'm gonna trim this off And then I'm going to tighten the 20 gauge wire. And I'll do that by grabbing it somewhere where I think it'll work. And I'm gonna twist it. It's okay if there's a tool mark on the back, nobody's gonna see that. Okay, twist it and now that wire is tightened down to our, um, our bead. All right, and now it comes the fun part we're gonna keep wire wrapping. I'm going to turn it over so we can see the front of the bead. And this is just gonna be super organic. You can go whatever direction um, you'd like. Pam is uh, baking cookies, mm, yummy. What kind of cookies? And a Tila wrap bracelet and watching NASCAR. Wonderful, that sounds like a full day, I like it. Um, okay, so we're just gonna keep wrapping. I'm gonna do get a couple base wraps going and then I'm going to move my seed beads down. Charlie Ann is going trick-or-treating and then I'm just going to make sure my seed beads get moved down when the wire is on the front of the bead. Okay and you can do three or four, you could do one each wrap, whatever makes you happy and then I'm just going to kind of drop down a bead when I feel like it. So they're all kind of congregating right there so I'm going to kind of drag them over and try and get some right there. So as we can see, some of my wraps are migrating towards the, up, the upper side of the bead because it's a, an oval and it gets thinner and it's trying to move that way. So we wanna just kind of keep it in the, the center as much as possible. Hi, Stacy. And then we're just gonna keep wrapping until you're happy with how your earring looks. Don't be afraid to go over a bead or um, remove a wrap, whatever you'd like. Uh, I, you know, Cindy, <laughs> I, um, you know, I do a lot of test testing, you know, just trying things out and if it doesn't work, um, Pinterest is a great way to get some ideas. Um, you know, sometimes they just pop up. Ooh, chocolate chip oatmeal, yummy. Okay, so this one's got a little bit more going on in the front than my other one, but I like it. And they, they're sisters, not twins. They don't have to be the exact same earring, okay? So once you realize or figure out that you have enough beads on the front of your earring, then you're just gonna wrap a few more times with only the wire and not the beads. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of secure those in there. And then I'm gonna come back to the back snip off a little bit longer than you normally would for a wire wrapped piece. And then we're just gonna find a place to tuck this in and then we should be good to go. Oh, maybe I made that a little bit too long. I think we're gonna trim that a little bit more.
Please tuck it in. There we go. And then we're just going to wire up the top like we did with our other beads, our other earrings. Like that. Just like that. Um, yeah, Rose, I don't see why you couldn't. Absolutely, you could use some larger beads than seed beads. You're, or you can even use larger seed beads than I did here. Oh, Katie, I would love to see. She posted in my beat group. She said she used this technique earlier using one of my other videos. Okay, and then we're just going to wire wrap until we're happy around the wire wrap at the top. And twist that around to the back. Snip off the excess. Oops, I think I snipped the wrong part of the wire. No, we're good. And do I have another ear wire? I do. Here we go. Here is our pair. And they actually turned out very similar. Here we go. Remember, they don't have to be perfect. They're sisters, not twins. I love those. And, you know, if you, um, you can kind of get a little bit, even a little bit more um, specific with it. If you wanted to do something like in Morse code, um, I, I don't know Morse code, but you could probably look it up and, and figure out something, a way to get it to um, say something on your earring in, you know, dashes and dots. So there were three pairs in. We only have one pair or one um, more project to do. But I think three pairs of earrings in a half hour is pretty good. Pretty good. So here are the three pairs we've made so far. And then we're just going to make a really easy memory wire bangle. And I'm going to clear these seed beads. Here are the beads that I've grabbed from the two mixes and a, um, a uh, toggle clasp. So I'm going to spill those out. I'm going to put them in um, an order for our bracelet and then I'm going to add a little bit of metal to it and then we're going to um, we're going to have a bracelet pretty quickly. I love very complicated designs. I love new techniques, but like I said, I always, when I'm, I'm not really sure what to do with an item, I kind of go back to basics and create something that's fun and easy to slip on and wear. Okay. So I want this big guy to be my focal <clears throat> and I'm going to grab two of the, um, African turquoise, uh, deco cut rounds to go on the either side. Um, then I want my two amethyst coins to be front and center. And then I'm going to take some check glass pearls, my next two deco beads, and then more check glass pearls. Sorry, the seed beads are still kind of hanging around. Um, and then we're going to take these two check glass and then these two check glass. And let's see, um, I'm going to grab a couple more beads out of here. This one and these two. And then we'll take these two, these are actually large hole beads that are in the mix, um, amethyst. And then I don't know if we're going to need all these beads, but we'll kind of, we'll kind of have them if we need them. Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to add in some, here's my leftovers from both of the mixes, some metal from, from one or both of the mixes. So we'll do this guy next to our focal. And I like these little faceted barrels are cute. I think those are nice. Um, I'm just going to put those right next to our check glass pearls. Put 
but this this bracelet doesn't really need a lot, a lot of help because these beads are so gorgeous. And maybe I'll get in a couple bead caps. Let's see. Yeah, I like those around our deco beads. Okay. You'll also need obviously some memory wire and our um, uh, some some uh, jump rings and a clasp. So first, I'm going to start. We might have to take off some beads, but I'm going to start at the end and just keep going. I'm not even like trimming my uh, memory wire because I can work off the spool and then only use what I need. So we're just going to go really quickly. Memory, I love memory wire because it goes so fast. And let me see what's going on in the chat. Oh, Marcella said muy bonito. And Pam said, I do a lot playing with designs that she does before the idea comes along. Start with one design and end up with a completely different one. Yep, that happens all the time for me. <laughs> okay, so then we'll go in with our bead cap, deco bead, bead cap. I just want to make sure that's what I want the design to look. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool looking. I like that. That would be a cute little earring too. I think I'll end, end up taking off, since I added those bead caps in, some of the check glass at the end, but that was really just to get some length. I love, anybody else really just love purple and turquoise together? Especially African turquoise and amethyst, and mm, so yummy. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Catherine. All right, we're almost done. And we're on the home stretch here. And what I'll do um, is make sure that um, my bracelet fits my wrist before I close it off. Although, if it's too short, um, it's gonna be easier to fix than if it's too long. Okay, last two beads here. And I'll show you what everything looks like together. So here's our bracelet. I know we have got some, some wire in the way, but that's what it looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. I love those colors together. Okay, I'm gonna just double check it on my wrist. Sorry, I'm gonna do that outside of the camera. I think it's gonna be, pretty sure it's a little big, but just wanna double check. Yeah, it's too big. I'm gonna take off um, some of that check glass at the end. I kind of built that in there just to make sure that we had enough space. So I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna take off these, this bead and then try it again. Sorry, I'm coming off screen. Hazards of live viewing. <laughs> I'm trying not to get my bracelet tangled. I think I'm gonna end, end up having to cut it because it's it's cut, it's tangling too much. And I'm trying to find my, oh, there my. We always wanna use memory wire cutters because we'll end up in a spot of trouble if we don't use those. We'll damage our, our regular wire cutters. All right, I'm sorry, I'm missing some comments. Purple and turquoise are my favorite. Yes, I'm gonna show you how to close them today so they don't shake off. Um, that's a good question. Yeah, I, I rarely wear <clears throat> more than one or two wraps on my 
my memory wire bracelets but I like the bangle style that I'm going to show you where I use a clasp. Sorry that I can't do this part, the fitting part, while I'm on camera with you. Okay, I am going to take off one more bead, and then we'll be good to go. All right, so we're just going to close off our memory wire like we normally would. I am just going to create a loop here. Make sure your beads don't pop off the other end. And um, I'm just gonna follow the natural um, curve of the memory wire, I'm not gonna turn it backwards. So I'm just gonna go in and curve it around until we have a loop, okay? And you could do a double, you could do a double loop, you could just do one loop, whatever. And I'm just gonna snip that a little bit because I wanted it to be a little long here. Oh, well. Maybe not. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to come down, make sure my beads are coming down the memory wire bracelet. Snip off some excess here. Okay. And we, it's kind of the same technology or the same thought process as you don't want to tighten it too much when you're put, making memory wire bracelets because the beads can crack if you end up making it too tight. And by too tight, I mean no, not enough wiggle room while you're, while you're looping it. So I'm just going to do go ahead and make a loop going in. I'll probably fix that loop later off camera. <laughs> this one's a little bit larger than this one, but that's okay. All I need to do is snip a little bit of that and re-loop re it. So if you're confident in keeping your bracelet on your wrist, you can just keep it like this. This is, this, it's a bangle. But <clears throat> I'm just going to take my, um, my clasp and a couple jump rings and attach those to my bracelet. Now, if your bracelet's too short and it won't close around your wrist, keep adding jump rings or add some chain to your um, toggle and you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna take my jump rings here. And this is a perfect place to add on any charms that you'd like, any extra beads whatever you'd like, you can add them onto these loops. So it's, you know, we always use bead stringing wire or stretch cord, but sometimes I forget, you know, let's just grab our memory wire and make a bingle. And it's a sturdy bracelet that's not going anywhere. That's for sure. Okay. And these toggles are also from a mix from Jesse James Beads. Oops. Okay. And here we have a beautiful gemstone bracelet, gemstone and check glass bait bracelet featuring Dakota Stones and Jesse James. Isn't that gorgeous? Almost is like a beaded like Pandora style bracelet without the huge, the really big hole beads. What do you guys think? Is that pretty? <laughs> yeah, you can definitely, yeah, you can add your charm to your, your loops or your, um, your jump rings. Let me see if I can put this on for you guys. But, you know, in 40 minutes, we ended up making three fun pairs of earrings and a really fun bangle. Sorry, I'm putting it on my wrist for you guys so you can see what it looks like. Here we go. See? That, it's not going anywhere. You're not going to shake that off. So I hope you guys learned something new today. I had so much fun. It went really fast. <laughs> it went really fast. So let's put on the screen everything we made. Um, we made some earrings and we kind of went in order of difficulty. So we started off with a really basic wire wrap earring. Um, and then use that basic design to up the, up the interest factor, moved on to these, and then we went on to these wire wrapped babies. I don't have a favorite. <laughs> I really don't. I love all of them. Well, actually the, bra the bracelet's my favorite because I'm not going to wear the earrings, but 
and now I have three wonderful gifts to hand out. So there we go. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining today. I love doing these lives for you. And thank you for Jesse James Beads for having me back. It was a pleasure to work with these fantastic color alloy mixes. I hope everybody has a happy Halloween. Bye-bye.